Here she is. 1949 Brill bus that has been converted into an RV probably sometime in the 70s. She's pretty, that's for sure. Yep. Also pretty long. It's about 30, I think a, about 36 feet long and about 10 feet high, especially with those AC units up there. Yes sir, Bob. Let's go take a look in the inside real quick. Got to avoid all these thistles. We've cleared most of the ones out from the bus. Away from the bus, rather. So right now there's a pile of crap in there. This goes in and out. This guy comes down. Yep, like that. Two captain's chairs. That one still needs to be installed. I got my jack and my jack stands. Pretty cool gauge cluster, lots of stuff. There's like the model numbers and VIN number and all that stuff. This is pretty cool. It's like early uh, check engine light from the 40s or 50s or something. Motor minder. It's poor, fair, good, idle deceleration. Has to do with the vacuum, as you read. Let's pop back over here. There we go. So, here's the pile of crap. And underneath the pile of crap is a crap couch, so all of this needs to go out and thrown out. Same with that wooden thing up there and the wooden thing over the sink. But I like this railing. Once we clear all this stuff out, there'll be nice little bit of space here. This curved couch really isn't in that bad a shape. Just needs a good vacuuming, possibly replacing, we'll see. Storage underneath, lots of storage in this bus. Here's the uh, breaker box. Stuff up here. Um, there's lights up in here. Very interesting roof, that's for sure. Both of these AC units, as well as the one down there, should not work. Or most likely don't work. Lots of dust on everything. I drew a phone number that I needed to call right there. But fridge, or pfft, fridge. Microwave, stove, and oven. Might be able to savage the stove and oven. Probably going to turn the microwave into a uh, convection oven or a cabinet or something. These probably need to be replaced. The engine is right down there. Biggest engine I've ever seen. Uh, stainless steel sink and fixture is probably pretty good. This is what I was talking about. Really needs to be replaced. This whole above the sink cabinet set there. Fridge probably needs gone. There's that, yep. And so here's kind of the kitchen space. The fridge right there, that little TV is gonna be a cabinet soon. But uh, moving on, shower to the left here. Pretty tiny, it's only like four and a half feet from the floor to the ceiling, that's why there's a seat in there. Bathroom only seats one, I don't know if that'll work. But otherwise, a little bit of remodel in there. Probably ripping most everything out, but still, the plumbing's there, and probably still good. That sounded great. So there's one cabinet, a little tie rack, this thing, gonna throw out, that's for sure. And you know, I don't even know what that is. No, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That is the fattest extension cord I've ever seen. That's huge. There's a couple little gems in here that are going to be fun. There's the other closet. And last but not least, bed. A little storage on that side, a little storage on that side. Whoa, I left this open. It's not good. Storage and as well as sockets on either side of the bed as well as the storage thing and speakers up there. This looks like parts of the couch, a ladder, and other miscellaneous and here we go it's the front of the or the top of the bus 
these things probably gonna all have to throw this out before we get moving that one might be good that one that's secured there but yeah all right let's close this little fiberglass latch here and get out of here there we go so yeah let me sit back on the bed sort of see there's either side and let's walk through all right so this is the last time I'm gonna be here well not excuse me let me refer let me restart the next time that I'm gonna be here we're gonna be getting it on a trailer and getting it out of here so yeah there we go I'll just leave these windows open so that it's not too hot in here we're not expecting any rain all right yeah, we just got two new front tire, well, used front tires that hold air to get it out of here. Now it's sitting at a much better height. You can actually get under the ground, as you see, I had to dig, sorta. But yeah, we're good to go. Bye, everybody.